Hello everybody, this is Doomtest. Today I'm going to be gathering some feedback and also a bit of a rant on all the provisions in Legion. So thus far in 7.2.5 the provisions have not really gotten that much new stuff since the launch of Legion. In the next patch however we are looking to get some completely new materials and probably also completely new crafted items which is of course going to reset the market and whatnot. But for now, I just want to talk a bit about, um, you know, the professions so far in Legion, how they stack up, how they are for gold making, and how I find them, and all the kind of little annoyances and whatnot. So I'll be starting off on the main, uh, leather working and jewel crafting. Leather working is always good money. Now, this probably highly depends on the realm, but um, I make a good amount of gold on Blood of Sagaris items. And then it can be a bit random on the other items um, that are not Blood of Sagaris. But um, in general, leather working is actually very good on my server. I'm on a high pop, so pretty happy with uh, items. You know, they scale up to 900 now with the upgrades and whatnot. So it's actually selling pretty good, uh, pretty great when there is an activity uh, search of players. And then I also want to quickly mention uh, dual crafting. Ah, uh, this is pretty random. Uh, the problem is that the necklaces uh, there is a lot of competition for you know kind of expensive uh, items. Um, the necklaces just cost a lot of gold to make, and there's usually a lot of undercutting on them. However, the rings are really good on my server. I have made so much gold on these rings here, so that's really sweet. Um, for the most part, it depends again on activity and server price and whatnot. But um, just getting the materials cheap over over time is always useful. And then saber's eye, they were probably a lot more gold before, but they still was somewhat okay. You can probably make a thousand gold on them pretty often, so that's pretty sweet. And yeah, then we also have a few toys that you can both craft, but I find that only the toys from level working. They can actually make all four uh, toys are pretty good sellers and make quite a few of these sales every week so that's nice um but overall i should probably also mention a bit of the uh, profession quest line leather working ah it takes a long time and the fucking mount at the end just go to wowhead and read the comments on elder horn riding highs you're gonna be amazed at the hate about for this quest here now I did all profession quest lines in Legion thus far, and this is probably the worst one. Um, yeah, uh, Blizzard should just uh, fire the designer for this quest because it was that bad. Really, <laughs> it's really really terrible. And um, yeah, and then dual the crafting was again was also pretty lengthy, and there was quite a few uh, weird things. But like with flying nowadays, this quest line is not that bad. And yeah, I can't really remember it too well but I will however say that with flying it's gonna be pretty fast compared to when I did it so that's always nice to kind of know. I think uh, I want to also uh, talk briefly about um, secondaries now since I'm on the main actually. Um, we can just quickly take archaeology which I think is really crap. Um, the quest either takes like an hour or t 20 minutes and then you have to wait t uh, two uh, weeks uh, for the next one and if you don't play you know continuous every single week you're gonna miss out on the quest that you actually need to do the achievements so in a way that this forces you to con continue to play for like I don't know four months straight without uh, you know much breaks of course you can leave World of Warcraft for like 10 days whatever but still <laughs> I don't like that mechanic however it is nice that the achievements and you know the grindy side of aspects have been toned down for Legion uh, archaeology is a lot easier to do now compared to recent expansions, especially Mr. Pandaria or whatever. Um, yeah, and then I can also mention fishing. The underline angler took quite a while, um, you know, beforehand. But with flying nowadays, uh, you can even go buy all the lures that you need for getting the artifact fishing pole. It's really fast. Um, yeah, I believe fishing is in a pretty good spot for Legion. Um, there's just not a lot of new things. We got a few toys and kind of gimmicky items but it's still just fishing you no know, there's really nothing changed about it um but i think it's overall better than the last few expansions so that's always something but it hasn't really changed a lot and then i could also mention cooking 
Now, Nomi Cakes was made recently where you can kind of speed out the process in Nomi and Dalaran, so that's nice if you just want to kind of get the research fast. Um, obviously, I probably blew like, I don't know, 50, 100k gold uh, on getting all the research to rank 3. Uh, man, th th that was just so annoying at the end, but I did manage to get them all now, so I was pretty just happy with, you know, having these research done now. But I will admit that it was a bit stupid because, you know, there is nothing to this. Just go talk to a vendor and wait. It's kind of like the artifact research that was nothing really to it. It was just a waiting game. Again, forcing you to wait. No, you know, Blizzard knows how to get that subscription money going or whatever. And then I should also mention uh, first aid. Yeah, I'm not really sure what Blizzard thought about this. They even gave, you know, a dedicated, uh, I wouldn't say quiz line, but yeah, there was a little bit of a quiz line to it. And uh, at the end, you're asked to go out and help a few uh, or many uh, NPCs around Broken Isle, which will at the end give an achievement. Uh, is there a medic in the zone? And this achievement just takes forever. You know, I played for. <laughs> Yeah, quite a bit, and I still haven't even got the achievement. It's just very random uh, when the scroll drops, and if you forget to do the quest, so at the you know probably about fifty percent of the time that I played Legion, I had a quest in the for the medic achievement, and I just didn't do it because I didn't really bother. It. And yeah, then I just didn't get any new drops for quite a while as well. So that was kind of a stupid part of me. But yeah, um, if I should mention anything quickly, all of you from the secondary professions, I don't think there's much to it. Because again, um, everything just works. Something is just easier than it was before, but that's never really been changed grammatically about them. I would say that the secondary professions have not really been changed that much like the other ones, uh, the main professions. So yeah, it's, maybe it's a bit boring, but again, it's a gimmick with the artifact fishing pole and the archaeology quest in Dalaran every two weeks and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I want to move on to the next character. So now on the warrior for alchemy and inscription. So I just want to mention quest lines again. <laughs> alchemy had so many five lands, and doing this on an alt is just tiring. You start out doing a couple of quests, you know, nothing too special there. You get a few research, whatever. Then you're asked to go into a Shara. Then you're going to ask into an Elfarian Slayer for all the Wardens, and I think this one is the one where you have to go past some sort of gimmicky quest or whatever. Really annoying one, because people don't want to do that one, obviously. Then you have to go into Hall Savella, Mountain Souls, Black Rock Hole, and then lastly you have to go into the Emerald of Night, now which you uh, thankfully can do on Looking for Wraith, but still so many diamonds you need to do for this quest line it takes quite a while um i don't think many people uh, especially solo players uh, like that idea of having to do this many diamonds and even looking for raid um so yeah that did take quite a while uh, legion inscription was not quite as bad it still had a few diamonds and kind of some grindy quests here and there but i don't think it was nearly as bad so that's always something um, yeah, I want to mention quickly alchemy. Obviously, if you are really, really into, I don't know, uh, sitting on the auction house and bartering with undercutting a lot on flasks or whatever, and you really have a kind of like a good production, I'm sure you can make a lot of uh, golden flasks. Uh, I just can't be bothered with it, cut like you can see already the prices here. You know, and, and a flask sells what 400 gold at best, maybe 500 doing really peak activity right now. I mean, you would have to sell, uh, yeah, you would have to sell hundreds of flasks every day to even make it comparable profit compared to other professions. But again, if you're into, you know, really sitting on the auction house a lot and undercutting a lot, because you're going to get undercut a lot, at least on my server with flasks, then it's obviously pretty good. And the same thing for flasks uh, or potions even and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I don't really think that alchemy is any good compared to other professions in the uh, in a uh, wow uh, legion but do feel free to say so if you have a you know other opinion about this perhaps you made a lot of gold early on in legion uh, with alchemy and that's kind of just the deal um but yeah the same thing here for inscription uh, it's the same old thing the dark moon fair trinkets being really good uh, early on in legion and how i will say now even with uh, being able to upgrade the trinkets up to item level 900 
they have gotten kind of a new life because again stuff like the the immortality armor trinket is now the again yeah again the best trinket for uh, guardian druids in the game um that trinket i had to buy it myself now and i blew i don't know 100k on it or whatever i'm sure that if you are you know making the cards um and you get those cards somehow cheap enough and you're able to get the trinkets at a reasonable pace you can actually make a pretty decent profit on it but i would be surprised if you're making more than say 20 30k gold uh, per uh, deck sold but that's maybe just my opinion i'm not really sure on it but again this was probably a lot better to do early on in legion when people really wanted the gear so yeah I don't really think inscription or alchemy are worth my time at all. That is also why I barely have, you know, gotten any profession on them, um, uh, recipes on them even. So yeah, I think I want to end it with that. And again, I just wanted to mention alchemy quest line. Fuck you, because <laughs> that took so long time with all those five men. And from reading comments, and wow, had people seem to agree that was just very torture like a uh, quest line. Now then, time for tailoring and enchanting. Now, enchanting had a few funny twists. It's act it's actually pretty done, uh, pretty well done. Um, there's also kind of like a fun few things where you loot quest attempts, and those quest attempts needs to be disenchanted and whatnot. There's a few quirks in here and there, pretty fun. But overall, I think this is one of the shortest, only at 29 quests, so it's actually pretty decent for enchanting. And then we come to tailoring, which is basically the same at 30%. However, I think some of them did take quite a while, so yeah, there was a few annoying grinds here and there, and something was as fast as enchanting, but still it's okay. Um, I, how I hate that Lindra's guy where you had to find him. Oh, that was so annoying. <laughs> Stop going away, but yeah, that's spoilers. Don't want to go into that too much. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, let's take enchanting first for gold making one that the tomes have been a godsend. I actually need to <laughs> remake some again. Um, I've been selling them for quite a while, but yeah, they're actually pretty good gold. Uh, of course, depending on the realm, if you can even buy the materials, you know, straight up buy them instead of grinding them, it can actually be pretty good gold. And I probably made like 50k gold uh, profit on them uh, so far, um, and I hope to you know continue doing that sort of gold from them because it's actually pretty fun to sell these tomes here. They sell pretty fast, um, easy to buy the materials and whatnot. However, the enchantments, I don't care for those at all. Maybe you can make like, I don't know, if you sell 50 scrolls a day on a patch day or whatever. Maybe you sell 100 scrolls, maybe a few days uh, during a patch hype, whatever. You can sell for a bit of gold here and there, but yeah, it's just not worth it to me. Even if you did, this, you know, get the materials really cheaply, you can only make like 500 gold profit. Uh, scroll uh, if you it was really high and whatnot um, I just don't find it worth it because there's so much undercutting and so much competition on selling enchantment scrolls um, so yeah for me uh, enchantment has just been total crab in legion um, I just don't really find it worth it at all because again there's just so little profit of course if you're happy with selling an enchantment scroll for 200 gold profit and you maybe had to undercut two three times before it even sold well go for it i just don't bother with it because it's too little you know gold uh, versus time spent but um let's move on to tailoring and the first rent definitely i'm just gonna have to mention this uh actually let's just round it up what kind of use it for so bags sucks in legion um there is a you know what's it a 30 slot or whatever where you have to go to carison to get it yeah, you actually have to go to Karis and to get a freaking uh, recipe. <laughs> really soggy. Um, but anyway, even the bag doesn't sell a lot of profit. I think it's like 500 gold profit or something. Uh, if you just, you know, if you sold the mats or were making the bag and whatnot, so it's not really worth it. Um, but um, yeah, it's kind of like leather working and uh, blacksmithing and whatnot. You can make these items here 850, and now they gotten a bit of life again because they can go up to item level 900. Um, I don't really use uh, or grind a lot of bloods on this mage here, so I don't really have all the resubs, but I find that especially the blood items and tailoring sells for quite a bit. 
However, um, sometimes I've been able to sell the rope for quite a bit, like 20k gold. Um, even the gloves have sold for like 10k sometimes, and the base is around 6k, 7k for the best. But um, yeah, uh, I don't think this is as good as level working, at least on my server, but it's still pretty good. And now comes the first major rant. Um, <coughs> I fucking hate Blizzard for doing this shit here. Do you see out here in... Uh, yeah, I just have to move the character a little bit. Do you see out here in Soroma? In order to craft items, you can't just be in, a, you know, in front of the auction house, the mailbox. You just loot a lot of crap, whatever. You have to be out in Soroma, fly out to this NPC here, go to the loom, and then you can first craft an item. And it's the same thing for blacksmithing. It's absolutely retarded. So you have to gather materials, hope you found the right amount, whatnot, and then you have to fly out to Soroma and craft. <laughs> what? I mean, no other profession has this requirement. Uh, level wagon doesn't have it. Uh, alchemy doesn't have it. Whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm 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 amazed by Blizzard thinking that this is a fair treatment towards tailors and uh, blacksmiths who have to spend many minutes to fly out to an area. And yeah, it's just such a stupid mechanic. I don't care for oh, but this is a part of the quest line. This is a part of the law, part of the gameplay, whatever. That is just a waste of time. Especially when you consider a lot of people use these uh, professions briefly, just lock on the character, loot stuff from the mailbox, recraft items, send it to the bank, out, log out. They don't want to spend many minutes uh, going out to some place flying. If you even have flying yet, that's also another thing, not everyone has that obviously. But um, yeah, very stupid mechanic and definitely hope that Visa doesn't reintroduce that again. But yeah, I think that is pretty much it for enchanting and yeah, and tailoring. Okay, so here at the end I want to talk about engineering and blacksmithing. Both professions were pretty awful. I don't really remember them too well, but I definitely do remember them being a lot worse than tailoring or enchanting. <laughs> yeah, they were just not that good. Um, I also think one of them had a really bad quest. I think a lot of people were whining about was it engineering or something like that. Anywho, in general, all the quest lines are actually pretty terrible. Uh, some of them are just a lot worse than others. That's kind of the idea, I suppose. But um, I want to start off with uh, engineering here. And again, the engineering items are mostly just the helms, as it has been for, I don't know, a decade or whatever. And I like, I'm sure that you can uh, make decent enough gold profit uh, making these items and whatnot. But again, they can only be used for engineers, and like, what's the point then? Uh, maybe like, if you make a new character and you still haven't chosen professions and whatnot, it like makes sense to, you know, just learn engineering, get it up to 600 fast so you can get the, um, yeah, what's it called? The glider and, the, yeah, I never mean the other one. Uh, the grouping glider and uh, what's it called? Now, Nitro Boost. Like those are always good. I probably have level engineering like five times or something recently just to get the glider and nitro boost on my alts that I don't really use for professions, so that's pretty sweet. Plus, like that's another thing. There's no need to really have multiple professions of the same type in Legion. The only profession that's really worth having, you know, many times is engineering because of grouping glider uh, and nitro boost. So yeah. Say you're just living a casual out, say you're making a demon hunter for the first time and you already have all professions leveled anyways, you might as well just learn it engineering. And then you can also you know, go buy uh, buy an 880 item uh, really fast, so that's a boost there. You know, every, every perk counts, you know, it's not uh, like it doesn't exist. Uh, perks for getting professions nowadays. But um, yeah, I also want to mention a little bit of gold uh, farming here. Um, engineering doesn't really have a lot of potential and um, you can make stuff like this these ones or uh, the yeah the, the pet I suppose but it costs 50 plots and that's not really worth it uh, out to hammer sells a few times it's actually pretty good um, you should probably always carry a few auto hammers at least on the characters that you're raiding on because again it's just useful to being able to repair your item or help other people repair theirs 
so yeah buying a few auto hammers uh, people are always gonna do that so this is actually a pretty okay profit like again they cost around let's say 200 gold uh, to make each one and if you can sell them again for like 400 300 gold profit uh, you know you can sell them to 300 or 400 gold each maybe 10 a day or something like that's let's say 3000 gold a month or something if you borrow with it it's not a lot but it's still something However, the pet has been pretty good seller as well. Again, if you can get Fell Slate pretty uh, cheaply, then it's actually quite good to sell this uh, toy here, not pet obviously. And again, for the failure detection, but yeah, it doesn't really do a lot, so not a lot of people are gonna buy it. So low demand for that one. The same thing for the gun pack and the gun shoes. And uh, this one as well, it's never really gonna sell. I tried to sell it a few times, but it just sells so slowly. There's like no point. And uh, yeah, this scroll here, I tried to sell it a few times again, but if you can get Felsley cheaply, I suppose it's worth it, but it's gonna sell slowly. However, if you have the, the wrist piece for the relics, they are actually pretty good. Um, a lot of people, uh, you know, they are not gonna wait for the world quest to spawn the relics on them. They just want to boost their alt item really fast, and they can do that by buying the relics. Like even if it's only, you know, <laughs> yeah, you see ten thousand gold for what is basically just uh, eight blots of Sargeras. It's actually pretty decent. Um, definitely still some gold in that one. You can get all the blots. Obviously, I can't do that on alt that I've never really played. But yeah, that's pretty much the, you know, the potential for engineering. But again, it's a really good profession just to level on characters that needs a profession. And then we come to blacksmithing, and I have to just mention the rent again as I did in tailoring. My god, you have to fly out to this freaking area here or something like that in high mount to craft items. It's absolutely stupid. I mean, what's the point? <laughs> You have to fly out so fast to craft items. Like I don't care about the quest line, the law, the the gameplay about it. I know it makes sense from the questing perspective, but it's just so annoying. Um, but yeah, again, it's the same thing with tailoring. The items that require blots are just gonna give more gold. That's basically. It. But sometimes the breastplates are pretty good because again, it's chest. People are always going to want to buy a chest because it gives a lot of main stats and all those sort of things. Uh, chest, legs, shoulders, whatever. Um, yeah, and the braces, again, those are really easy materials for cover braces and they usually also sell pretty good. However, I have seen um, the gloves being pretty okay as well, which is kind of nice enough. Um, then I can also quickly mention these ones here. They're actually pretty good. Um, I mean, uh, if you're not playing a druid, you obviously might want to use these ones on your main character to speed up a process or whatever. But like, I, s I tend to say that a demon steel bar is at least 100 gold each. And as you can see, it requires 8 of these steel bars and they sell for what, 1.2k or something like that after the auction house cut. Okay, right now they're 1.6. So you can make like, I could make like 400 gold making them. But 400 gold, and yeah, I'm lazy. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do it eventually if I can get enough of these demon steel bars. Because again, fell slate is just really hard to get uh, cheaply. So yeah, it kind of depends on that one. And then leaf lay stone hoof plates are also kind of good. I mean, it's gonna cost you like. 250 gold or something to make and what they can sell 500 gold after a cut and whatnot so it's also again some profit if you can get uh, lay stone ores pretty cheaply but i think that's pretty much it for this uh, round of professions again the quest lines the weird mechanics such as the archaeology quest that's basically just wait two weeks when you're done content that last an hour Stuff like that is just so stupid. The the quest lines that are, have some really toxic quests like the leather working one. Um, you know it's funny. Blizzard said they have a, a dedicated team for professions for WoW Legion. Like they expanded the team. They were gonna do so much better stuff with it, and in the end they just did some really stupid things. And one of the worst things, obviously, which I haven't really talked about a lot yet, is recipes uh, ranks. My god. Ugh. 
Oh, I don't even know where to start on this one. I, I have to do rated battlegrounds for getting a recipe rank. And I did that. I did win one a long time ago. I showed it in a video as well. I did uh, some time ago. And even if I did win in one uh, rated battleground, you know, it took three tries for the puck, whatever. That was an annoying experience. It isn't a hundred percent. And it's the same thing for the freaking recipes that drops off in the uh, five man bosses. I think I've done Black Rock Hold on Mythic like, I don't know, 15, 20 times now on the Druid. And I still haven't gotten the recipe rank uh, for my chest, mail chest. <laughs> it's absolutely retarded. You know, I'm the kind of guy that really likes getting uh, professions on leatherworking. That's one of the things that I collect. But I can honestly say I'm afraid that I'll never uh, get all the ranks in this expansion just because the RNG is that bullshit. Like, if you go on... Uh, yeah, I can actually just show it now. If you go on Wildhead, and let's just say the, the recipe that I just talked about from Breakwalk Holes that I'm still farming now and then. Free comments! Free fucking comments, and they're all sadly not a hundred percent job chance. And what's the drop chance? And what, what, what? Nobody knows what's going on. Nobody knows jack shit how they drops. Uh, there's no really clear sense if you should be running it on a heroic. If it's better to run them on mythic. Uh, do they even drop on freaking, I don't know, Mythic Plus at times, you know, it's absolutely stupid. There's just something completely wrong with the system here. It's very much hidden and it's kind of just, oh, a reset drop. Oh my god, that's so, yeah, wow, it actually happened. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's the same thing for like, uh, I can also just quickly mention the alchemy. I hear about people making 500, 800, up to a thousand flasks before they proc the rank 3 recipe <laughs> it's absolutely retarded i have a mate at least uh who's alchemy and he said he made 400 or was it 500 flask before he got his rank 3 for i don't know was it intelligent flask or whatever i don't know but the point is uh, ranks recipe ranks had definitely destroyed a lot of uh, about what's kind of good about professions because again there's just so much rng about the gold making in that aspect like another thing is also I can make a lot of gold or I can make ugh, maybe just break even gold sometimes depending on a lot from the procs. So say you're crafting items like say this Demon Steel Breastplate. If you make like Perilous, Fever Flare, uh, stuff like that, it's gonna sell so much better than Harmonious or or whatever other crap roll. It's, that is also a really annoying RNG and you can't re-roll the stats like you could in the uh, Wallets of Renards, so like you're stuck with shitty items uh, and trying to sell them. Like currently, right now on my brown gold, I'm selling nine uh, Graven Scale Helm of the Click Blade, uh, Quick Blade. What? Nine of them? And they are never gonna sell because it's such a shit stat, and I just feel like vendoring. But I'm like, damn, now I crafted them, I at least want to sell them, maybe try to break even on the gold that I spent. But nobody wants the shit items that I make. <laughs> And you can't really control the outcome of the stats at all, so it's just very RNG. And I don't think that crafting uh, should be RNG. Gold making should not be that heavily uh, based on RNG. Like one example, downlight uh, rings from the dual crafting. They can spawn either with Fire Flash, uh, Fever Flare or Aurora. Aurora sells, I don't know, seven, eight thousand. And then sometimes Fever Fire can be like 25, 35k gold. <laughs> what? So basically you can triple your gold uh, from the same materials if you're just getting loggy. <laughs> That's absolutely stupid. Um, but yeah, I, I think I just want to kind of end the rant there uh, for that. Before I get a whole too negative about it. Because again, I could probably do this for a couple of more minutes. But uh, yeah, the video is getting too long. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed this feedback, you know, gathering my thoughts of, of the profession so far leading because I'm pretty sure that the next patch is going to change a lot in a, of how professions are made. I'm, I'm almost thinking we're going to get a hard uh, reset on professions, you know, totally new uh, materials to gather, totally new crafted items to get and all those sort of good things. But yeah, we will see how the rest of Legion pans out for professions because I'm Pretty sure it can't be much worse than it is now. That's at least for sure. So yeah. 
Thank you for watching and have a good one.